pretty good card. Yeah, let me just pull that out. And then you got your battery port here. Um, PCI Express 1.0 slot. You got both USB ports, uh, two audio parts, and a microphone. Power. Oh, you can't see that. Power. Uh, HDMI, eSATA. You got your VGA. And interestingly, I'll show you. I'll turn it around for you. You got your Ethernet, but they also have a regular modem port. And what's cool about this is on the back of the case you have your ethernet port but right next to it there isn't a port for the modem so I haven't tested it but theoretically I'm guessing you could take out this port here or you could cut, cut, a, cut a hole here and maybe have a working modem in your laptop I don't know why they would include the port on the motherboard, but then plastic it in in the case. It's kind of weird. Um, and then they got two USB ports and a FireWire port and your SD card slot. Um, also looks like they were going to maybe include another eSATA port, and this looks like it could either be a S-Video or a PS2 mouse port. Um, but those connections don't exist on the motherboard and maybe they do in other versions um yeah so that's your motherboard and it's fully disassembled uh, I'll be putting this computer back together now and uploading the video um, this video will be put together and edited on this laptop to prove to you that I didn't kill it um, if you go about doing this, I'll, I'll be happy to offer you help and advice, but I cannot be held responsible in any way for any damages you might put forth on your laptop. Um, and believe me, that can happen, because my old gateway that I made the other video on, I was trying to replace the LCD and, um, power inverter, and I accidentally shorted out two leads, and I sent roughly 700 volts AC down to the motherboard and completely fried the thing. So, um... The danger is there, um, and so just be careful. All right, so signing off for now, and now I gotta put this thing back together. Ugh.